Hi, and welcome back to episode number two of my brand new video podcast, YWG TV. In today's episode, I'm gonna quickly share my five favorite books for Christian homemakers. So as a mom of four very energetic little boys and a baby girl that's on the way, my time is really limited and it can be really tough to find the time to read as a busy homemaker. It's just tough to fit into my daily schedule. But I also know that reading has such a way of filling me up. It encourages me so much. And when I pick the right books, it really helps direct me back towards the Lord. It can be a really key piece of spiritual growth in my life. But there are so many Christian books out there that are too light on the gospel, they're too full of incorrect doctrine, or they contain just plain false teaching. And so unfortunately nowadays, I do not recommend that you just stroll into a Christian bookstore or browse Amazon and pick any old book that calls itself Christian without knowing more about the author or having it recommended from a source that you trust because there's just so much dangerous theology out there that is not from the Bible. And so this is playing a really dangerous game because there are so many wrong views and dangerous doctrine doctrine out there. So with all that said, I am very particular and careful when it comes to my book reviews and books that I share here on my blog and on my podcast. And I am an avid reader and I read about one book a week on average. Um, Right now with this pregnancy and being so tired, it's not quite one book a week, but that's kind of my average. I really love reading. And along with my regular and consistent Bible reading, of course, um, consistently reading these books has led to such a depth in my faith and in my walk. But of course, I have to say this, that reading these books, reading good gospel-centered books should still never replace our reading of God's word directly. God's word needs to be the thing we're in every day. If we're reading more of these books, then we are God's word, we need to change something. And yet I know that it's so tempting. It seems so much easier to pick up one of these books and get filled up from this rather than going to God's word. So I just wanna say that that's a really dangerous thing. That's something that can happen really easily as we read a lot of devotion books, we read a lot about God instead of reading God's word directly. So, and that's something I struggle with because I love reading. And so it just seems easier to pick up one of these than to pick up God's word sometimes. And so that is definitely something that these should never replace reading of God's word directly. Okay. So today in this episode, I want to share my top five recommendations for Christian homemakers. These are five books that I think you should go out, put them on your list, read them one by one. And I have a lot of other books to recommend in other areas, such as marriage, Christian living, and those episodes are going to come in the future. I'm going to cover different topics, but I wanted to share these five books with you because they've probably had some of the biggest impact on me as a woman and as how I run my home. These have had big impact. So the very first book, and these are not in a particular order, but the very first book I wanna share with you, Glimpses of Grace, Treasuring the Gospel in Your Home by Gloria Furman. If you've hung around my audio podcast or my blog very long, you know I quote this book and reference this book all the time huge fan. Um, It's a pretty quick read. um, It's pretty quick. And in it, Gloria really gets to the heart of our homes. So she really addresses, the tagline is treasuring the gospel in your home. And she really addresses how we can treasure the gospel and make sure that Christ is ultimate in our life amidst our busy days and everything that we juggle. And so she's writing as a mom, since that's her experience, a mom of four, I think. But If you don't have kids, you're still going to get a ton out of this book because she just brings whatever your current busyness is, whatever your current struggle is, she brings it back to how we can focus on the gospel within that. So I think you get a lot out of it, even if you're not a mom. If you are a mom, run and go pick up this book today and start reading it. It's going to make you think differently about treasuring the gospel within your home and really being intentional with this time that we have within our home, especially when we have kids, especially when we have young little kids and our time already seems so zapped. Um, So yeah, so this is my first recommendation. Now, my second recommendation is Say Goodbye to Survival Mode, Nine Simple Strategies to Stress Less, Sleep More, and Restore Your Passion for Life by Crystal Payne. And so this is one of my 
all-time favorite books, but for being one of my all-time favorite books, I actually cannot find my copy right now to show you. <laughs> It's around the house somewhere, but I also own the audio version, so that's okay. I can listen through it again if I want to. Um, but if you need any help in managing your home, setting priorities, learning how to say no to things, learning how to say yes to things without guilt, how to find the time for more sleep, all that kind of stuff, then I highly, highly recommend this book because Crystal takes you step by step how to intentionally plan your life better. Each chapter is broken down into these great bite-sized pieces and kind of as you work through this book, you realize, oh, I have a priorities list to find now. And you, as you kind of move through it, things just kind of start to fall into place. And every single chapter is jam-packed with practical advice um, to do items. At, it just really makes a big impact on how you schedule your time and your day. And Crystal is a Christian and she does mention that throughout the book, but it's not as spiritual as these other recommendations. You know, it's not talking directly about the gospel in it the whole time, um, but she is a Christian. She's writing that from that perspective, but it is so practical and so helpful for helping you get crystal clear in your priorities and intentionally planning your time. And so that's why I included it in this because I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to kind of help you better uh, plan and prioritize your time. Okay, book number three, Women Living Well, Finding Joy in God, Your Man, Your Kids, and Your Home by Courtney Joseph. And I love that. She, that's kind of, that tagline is finding joy in these different aspects of our life. And now, honestly, I had this book for probably about a year before I actually read it because it just looked kind of boring to me from the cover. I, I am so one to judge a book by its cover and I know I shouldn't, but I tend to do that. And so I just, it looked boring to me. I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't jump out to me. And so I think because of that, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was very surprised and delighted with this book. Courtney has a very clear focus on the gospel and orienting our lives so that we are focused on Christ within our days. And she makes a really big point of making that the focus throughout this book. So she's got really good practical tips on your husband and your house, and yet it is so gospel-centered, and so I so appreciate that. So she takes you, like the tagline said, she takes you through different aspects of your life. So she starts first, like there's a whole section of chapters first on your relationship with God, and just some really practical and convicting tips on being in God's word and God's pr and, and praying daily. And then it has sections on your relationship with your husband, your parenting, and then finally the last section is on your homemaking. And what I appreciate is that she isn't afraid to step on your toes a little bit and call you to a higher standard, which is God's standard. And so I was very convicted throughout this book. Um, it's very biblical, very practical book. Um, it's again, it's pretty short, um, very easy to read, very conversational. So that's my third recommendation. Next, number four, is this tiny little book, Women of the Word, How to Study the Bible with Both Your Hearts and Our Minds by Jen Wilkin. Um, again, this is another book, I had, another book that I had had recommended to me, but I didn't know, I was not familiar with Jen Wilkin's ministry. Um, I didn't know what to expect and I was blown away. So if you are looking for a book on how to study God's word deeper and more consistently, then I highly, highly recommend this book. As you can see, really short and quick, but Jen dives right into the heart behind our Bible study, why we should study the Bible, why we should do it more consistently. And she gives you some really good tools for deeper study and how to not just read and move on with your day, but how to meditate on God's word, how to pray through God's word, how to really take God's word and go deeper. And so she goes over different Bible study methods that are really helpful. Um, she talks about intertwining our prayer life with our Bible reading as we go along. Like I said, why it's important to be in God's word, all that kind of stuff. So if you don't know where to start in your Bible reading or you need some help making your Bible reading deeper, then I would definitely recommend you go check this book out. Um, it is on my list to read again in the future just because even in this short book, there's so much practical good nuggets dug in this book. And I feel like depending on the season or stage of life you're in, you're gonna get something different out of it. So I think if I read this again in another year or two, I'm gonna get different stuff out of it than when I read it a year ago. So I highly recommend this as number four. And last, this is the biggest book on our list. This is Disciplines of a Godly Woman by Barbara Hughes. And this is an older book. Um, I actually have the old um, 
co cover. There's a new cover now. And I read this book when we were first newly married, and it gives a really, really good overview of biblical womanhood. So she covers five different main areas within her book, which is soul, character, relationships, ministry, and grace. And so within those five um, main areas, she has multiple chapters under each of those. So if you're looking for a gospel-centered and God-focused resource for biblical womanhood, look no further. It is not geared specifically towards moms. Um, it is written towards women. So this is perfect for every woman, no matter season or stage of life. Uh, it is kind of a big book. Um, the writing is not tiny, but it's not large either. Um, so it's a big book, but it is really easy to read. Again, it's pretty conversational. Um, there are 17 chapters total. So this is actually a really good book to read in small little chunks because each chapter is not too overwhelming. Um, and so you can read tiny little chunks here or there and really meditate upon what you're reading. Uh, this is also another a really good book to go through with a group of women. So if you are looking for a really good Bible study book or, you know, to get a group of moms together, a group of women together to go through, um, this is a really good one. Because again, you could read one chapter a week. It's not going to take you very much time each week. Get together and there's going to be some really good discussion coming out of this book. And there's a ton of great discussions. There's also a study guide. I'm not sure if there's study guide questions in the back. I don't think so. I think there is a separate study guide that you can purchase. Let me just see. Yeah, there's a separate study guide that you can purchase that has questions on this. And you can probably look it up on Kindle also. So anyway, like I said, this is actually, when you look it up on Amazon, this is the old version, the old cover. The new cover has a chair on it, um, but same thing, just new one. So there you go. These are my five favorite books for Christian homemakers. And I would like to do more episodes in the future that cover other topics within reading recommendations. So I wanna cover marriage, parenting, Christian living, so on. So if you have any topics or ideas that you wanna see covered, not just book related, if you wanna see anything else covered here on the podcast, please leave me a comment below. Let me know the books, the genre, whatever it is that you want me to cover and I will see if I can work on that. And really quickly, I wanted to share that we are heavily underway planning Planning, our 2016 Homemaking Ministries online conference. So this conference is at the end of October and pre-sale tickets are going to be posted really soon. The theme for this year's conference is finding balance in your home, which is exactly what I need right now. I'm so excited for the theme this year. So that means we have 16 speakers for the conference this year, and they're gonna all be addressing different aspects of biblical homemaking and how to balance it all. And this is one of the biggest things I think we face as women is learning how to balance everything within our home. So we have a session on finding balance in meal planning, finding balance within ministry, finding our joy and purpose in our home, so much more. It's going to be amazing. This is gonna be our best conference ever. I'm so excited. So we've got more details that are coming really, really soon. And like I said, pre-sale tickets are coming in the next couple weeks. Um, but you can sign up to get notified when tickets go on sale so that you don't miss them. Uh, you can go to homemakingministries.com slash 2016 to get all signed up. The conference is going to be live for three days of amazing fellowship, encouragement, and it is so much fun. It's so much fun to have a couple thousand women get together online to be able to chat, share resources, fellowship. It's really fun. It is the highlight of my year here within the ministry. So much fun. So I hope to see you there. And if you are watching this after the conference goes live, you can still purchase a ticket and get access to all the video sessions to watch anytime you want. You get the sessions to keep forever to watch when you have the time because I know as a busy homemaker, it is tough to make the time for these things. It's so important to be investing in ourselves and in our homemaking. And so I am giving these to you once you get your ticket, you have them forever. Watch them whenever you have the time. So again, go to homemakingministries.com slash 2016 to go ahead and get signed up for email notifications about that. And then to get any of the links for these books that we mentioned here in today's episode, you can hop over to the show notes by going to youngwifesguide.com slash YWG002. Uh, and you can get all the links right there, resources, read through my different book recommendations and all that. And I just wanna thank you so much for watching today and make sure you leave me a comment below with what you wanna see in future shows.